Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a very highly anticipated video today on the channel. We're going to be taking a look at my team of the season, Premier League predictions. The starting 11 that I think will get into Premier League tots. We're going to take a look at those cards and also the price predictions that I have for them because the market this year has been cheaper than ever. Team of the year cards were so cheap this year and I think it's going to make team of the season cards a lot cheaper this year as well. So we're going to talk through that. We're also going to take a look at cards that I think could also get into team of the season where the vote could be super duper close and some of those cards that might make it in on the bench, not in the starting 11, but still get team of the season cards in the game. And we're also going to take a look at some insane concepts for SBCs that could come out during Premier League TOTS as well. Flashbacks, TOTS moments SBCs, U23s like they did last year in FIFA 21, and a potential showdown SBC as well. By the way, all of this has been created by YazYFX3. I'll put his links down below in the description. He helped me out with these graphics as they look unbelievable. And these cards look sick. Again, it's team of the season. Some of the best cards that we are going to see in the Premier League released throughout the entire year. So without further ado, if you like this video, put a thumbs up on it. Comment down below uh, what your Premier League uh, TOTS predictions are. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's take a peek, starting with the defense at my Premier League 11 for team of the season. Let's start. I think, honestly, this Premier League TOTS is going to be dominated by Liverpool and by Manchester City players. The defense is honestly not that hard. I think these are going to be the 11 cards that do get in. Allison, Cancelo, Van Dijk, Ruben Diaz, and Trent Alexander-Arnold. Now, for a few of these guys like Ruben Diaz and Cancelo, they already have team of the year cards which is something that we're going to have to watch out for. For prices and for stats, it's going to be interesting to see how EA designate between team of the year and team of the season, since those team of the year cards are already so high rated. Let's start with Allison, right? I think Allison's going to end up winning from the goalkeeper spot. I think he's going to end up being about 150,000 coins. He's going to be pretty cheap. Just look at how cheap team of the year Donnarumma is. Brazil links. We've needed a special Brazil goalkeeper for a long time. That's going to be a card that a lot of people will use in their teams, especially with looking at some of these other center backs. Van Dyke. Van Dyke has a headliners card this year. Um, and I believe it's like 92 rated or something like that. Of course, it's a live item, 93 rated Van Dyke. And this could be a really nice VVD TOTS card. If he does get boosted up to 99 defense, that would be fantastic. I don't know if he's going to get 90 pace. It'll probably be high 80s. Um, and that card right there, I think, even though in years past, the team of the season Van Dyke cards have been super duper expensive, I think this Tots Van Dyke is going to run you somewhere around 900,000 coins. Because right now... His headliners on the market is about 600k. So I think this card's going to be about 900k to a mil somewhere in there in the first week. So that's one thing you can watch out for with that. Let's go to left back with Cancelo. And this is where the interesting conversations start because, again, like we mentioned, we already have this Cancelo on the game that is 94 rated, that is 95 pace, 90 defense, and 87 physical, right? Five star weak foot as well on this Cancelo. What it really boils down to with a card like this that already has a team of the year, how are EA going to upgrade the card? Are they going to make it better than the team of the year or is it going to be just very similar like they did last year? And I think the latter of those opinions is what's going to happen. Last year, if we take a look back to FIFA 21, Kevin De Bruyne had a team of the year card and a TOTS. He, on his team of the year card, had higher pace, shooting, passing, and dribbling. So they, they had plus ones on all those stats. But for the team of the season, they made his card a little bit more interesting by upgrading his defense by five and his physical by two. So he was dropped one in every other stat category except defense and physical where he got plus five defense and plus two physical. I could see EA doing that exact same thing this year for a card like Cancelo. Maybe they give him 90 physical and 92 defense, but then drop his pace shooting, passing and dribbling by one or something like that and still maintain that 94 rated aspect of the card. I believe that if they do something like this, what we saw last year with Tots cards compared to team of the years is that their price points were very, very comparable. Now Cancelo was down a lot, right? Since the market started crashing in April, he was 800,000 coins. He is now about 660K. I think that a Cancelo card is probably going to cost you somewhere around the range of 600K. I think 600K is a, is a fair, safe bet to say. Um, 
since it's going to be very similar to the team of the year, I think it's going to come in a little bit less because it is going to have more pack supply, right? These Tots cards are more packable than team of the years uh, for sure. Moving on, let's go to Ruben Diaz. Center back also already has a team of the year item. Again, same thing matters here with the team of the year versus the Tots. It all comes down to the upgrade, whether they go above the team of the year or around the same. He's probably going to end up having a same price point. I think he's going to actually be a little cheaper than his team of the year. I think it's going to be 650,000 coins. But if they give him like 98 or 99 defense, same uh, 98 or 99 physical, that would be absolutely cracked. So that's a card that, you know, doesn't have as much hype since he already has a team of the, of the year card. But moving on to our last defender, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Now, this one carries some hype because we haven't had a special Trent card in a while. And the highest rated Trent that we have is the Rule Breakers card, which a lot of people use. And if Trent gets a fancy upgrade over this item, his card's going to look pretty cracked. And, you know, one thing we also are going to need with a couple of these Tots cards is skill move and weak foot upgrades. If we got a four-star, four-star Trent for, of course, his best special card of the year. I think that an 89 rated Trent getting upgraded to like a 93 or a 94 is probably going to run you about 400, 450,000 coins on the market. I know that seems really, really cheap. And if we look at this card stats, once again, you're like, Nate, how can a card with these stats be 450,000 coins? I think that's honestly where he's going to be at because even 92 pace at this stage of the game is a little low for a right back of the team of the season stature on this game so i think that's a solid card great midfield super sub as well i still think it's not going to be the most expensive item but i think people will be hyped to use the best trend alexander arnold that we will see in this year of fever 22. now that's the defenders let's move on to the midfielders defenders always takes a while because there's so many of them right only three midfielders here this is where it gets hard who is going to get in i think there is one guarantee to get into the uh, tots prem midfield and that is kdb He's going to get in almost 100% guaranteed, and it's going to be the same thing as last year. How much is KDB going to be different from his team of the year variant? Right here, we've given him the exact same rating as the team of the year. He's got the exact same physical defending stats, but I did give him a plus one pace boost uh, and plus one passing and then minus one dribbling. So again, very similar to the team of the year, I would imagine. It's probably also going to come in right around 1 million coins. Again, similar to that team of the year price. Now, the two other cards in here, I think, are entirely debatable. Whoever else gets in the midfield, whether it's Fabinho, whether it's Declan Rice, I do think Bukayo Saka is going to get in. Um, but like Fabinho, I have no idea. Bernardo Silva is a great shout. I mean, and we're going to look in the notables too. The, the midfield is wide open besides KDB, in my opinion. But let's start with Saka, right? Because I think Saka has potential to be an absolutely insane card. You saw the stats on that item, right? And uh, a Saka card, a 92 or a 93 rated item, the biggest aspect of a Saka getting team of the season is going to be the skill move and weak foot upgrade, especially as we get into the more midfielder and attacker um, conversations here. We need a four-star, four-star upgrade in the Saka, but imagine the boost this card could have and how insane he could be in this game of FIFA with a boost. He's got the lean body type, high medium work rates, and he's got technical dribbler, team player trade. Really good stats on his 87 rated inform. You give this guy a tots boost, weak foot skill move upgrade, he's going to be one of the most exciting, if not probably the most exciting card to get a team of the season this year, uh, just because he hasn't had a card of that high level. Uh, and I mean, look at that item. You could even play him at right back or right wing back um, or maybe in like a, a three back formation on the right mid. That, that would be a perfect spot for him with 82 defense, 84 physical. And if he does get the weak foot or skill move upgrades, I could see this card being a million coins plus just based off of the hype that this guy has. Now, other center midfielder that we have here is Fabinho. I think Fabinho has a chance to get in. Again, Bernardo Silva, Declan Rice could also potentially get in because this is voting based once again, right? It's all about the hype, not really about who performed the best. It's all about who people want to see in FIFA. That's what they vote for, right? I think Fabinho um, would be a cool card to use. Again, he wouldn't be very expensive. I honestly think that card would be like 350, 400,000 coins. Um, really good defending. Honestly, that could be an insane center back uh, if Fabinho gets a Tots card like that. So those are my predictions for the midfield. Let's go to attack and keep breezing through these. This is where it gets good, right, lads? 96 rated left wing Hyunmin Sun. Sonny's got to get in. I think I'm a Tottenham fan, so I'm a little bit biased here, but I think Hyunmin Sun is going to end up getting in. 
That card looks absolutely unbelievable. Of course, you got the four star weak foot, the five star skills. If they were to upgrade him to five star skills, he would be very expensive. I think that card right there to me though, looks to be about 1.5 million coins, which would absolutely be cheaper than last year. He was like 2.2 mil. Um, and lower rated. I think if they gave him that kind of card, he would still be around that 1.5 to 1.75 million coin range after the first week of him being in packs. Cristiano Ronaldo, I think, is going to get into team of the season as well. His team of the year card currently on the market is 3.2 million coins. But again, team of the seasons uh, usually have a lot better pack weight. The stats that we've put on this Ronaldo are basically identical to the team of the year, but a little bit lower. If that's the case, and I think it might be. I don't think this Ronaldo would be over 97 rated. I think this card's going to end up being around 2.75 million coins and cheaper than the team of the year. But that's going to be an exciting card, the headliner for the team, in my opinion. And then look at that Salah. And boys, I have some information about the Salah. This is just not information, really. It's just in my head. I think it's going to happen this year. I think they're going to give Salah the four-star weak foot. And if Salah, with this level of card gets a four-star weak foot, you were looking at a one and a half to 1.75 million in coin card. for. So, I mean, look at the Salah that we had last year. This one here, 99 pace, 99 dribble, 97 shooting. Imagine that sort of Salah, which this card last year was a really, really good item, but he only had the three-star weak foot again, and that kept his card price in check. He was like 1.3 million coins first weekend. I think that the Salah has potential to be more expensive this year because his cards in this FIFA are better, and they've got insane upgrades already. He's having a better year. Um, golden boot front runner at the moment, also up there in assist. So I think that a Salah card this year, I think EA Sports would be smart to give this guy an absolute insane juice. I think he deserves it. I think 98 rated as the highest rated card or one of the highest rated in Premier League Tots is very, very possible. And I think they should give him that four-star weak foot as well. That would be cracked. So I'm really, really hoping to see a Salah in team this season with a four-star weak foot. And again, you know, you're like, Nate, 1.5 mil, 1.75, isn't that kind of cheap? Well, I think he's going to be more expensive than last year because he's going to get the four-star weak foot. That's my prediction. So we'll see. That would be an incredibly hyped card. Now, let's take a look at some of the other notables. You're like, Nate, where in the world was Kyle Walker? Why was he not in your vote? Or Declan Rice? Or Riyad Mahrez? Look at these cards, lads. I mean, some of these cards do look incredible. Kyle Walker would be like 600K if he was in the game. Declan Rice looks decent. This wouldn't be like the foot birthday Declan Rice that would have the five-star skills, though. We have to keep that in mind. I do think there's a potential that he gets in. I personally would love to see a Bernardo Silva. I don't know if you guys remember the Bernardo Silva Tots cards of old. I'm going to bring up one right now to show you guys. But the Bernardo Silva Tots card from FIFA 19, this card was unbelievable. And I really, really hope we get something like this again. Of course, Bernardo this year in FIFA does have some nice cards. He's got this um, Champions League Road to Knockouts card. But other than that, we haven't had that many items for Bernardo Silva, especially with his goal in the Champions League game uh, this past week. I think uh, a lot of eyes are on Bernardo Silva as well. So hopefully we end up getting ourselves one of those either on the bench or in the starting 11. Again, that's one thing to remember too, right? We're going to have a bench with Community Tots. Looks like we have more than just 11 players in packs. So we will have more than just 11 Premier League players in packs too. So all these honorable mentions that we have here could potentially be in the impacts as well. It's not just 11 players. Mares as well would be cracked. I think Mares though could be a little bit underwhelming. We already have an insane road to the final card for Mares that is similar stats to this 95. Um, and maybe that this Tots Mares would only end up being around 800k if they didn't juice him up that much. Now let's go into the last set of notables because there are a few more here to talk about. Ivan Tony, Diogo Jota would be an insane Tots card if he would somehow get in. I think it's possible. And then Phil Foden, I want to talk about this for a second because Phil Foden is a one of those players in FIFA. He's like a FIFA ambassador, right? So is Hyunmin Sun, which I think is why I think Hyunmin Sun and Phil Foden are both going to get into Premier League team this season because they're like EA ambassadors and you see them in the menus of FIFA 22. Um, I think Phil Foden should have been a center attacking mid like his gold card in the midfield voting. And if I think he if he was in that place in the voting, I think he would 100% be in the Tots team. But since he was an attacker, I think he might end up on the bench. That card, though, would be unbelievable. He'd be so, so, so good in game. Phil Foden's shooting and dribbling in FIFA is incredible. So I would love to see a Foden card like that. Price point for that, 
that's tough to guess, but probably somewhere around, you know, the 800, 900, maybe even a million coins just because of how good he might be. Harry Kane, I would love to see him in as a Spurs fan. I don't think he's going to end up getting in. We will have to see. Sadio Mane would be a great card to have as well. He'd be pretty expensive, over a million coins as well if he was to get into team of the season. So that's my starting 11. And of course, some of the honorable mentions, which I think have a shot at getting in either on the bench or in the starting 11 themselves. Let's go to some concepts for some SBCs because we could have some unbelievable flashbacks inside of Premier League team of the season. I like this one here in the middle the most. Bruno Fernandez. Of course, last year he had the team of the year. He had the team of the season. He was so good in last year's FIFA. If they wanted to give a really good flashback SBC, I think Bruno Fernandez would be the perfect item to give out during team of the year. And a lot of people would be very excited about that card. Also, Pepe from Arsenal could get a really cool one. Uh, Cavani as well. He had a flashback. Was it last year, I think? We had an Edison Cavani flashback. Or was it this year that we've already had one? Um, it wasn't this year. It was definitely last year. So maybe we're going to get our yearly Edison Cavani flashback this time with the Man U links. That could be a really dope card as well for our Premier League striker. I think all those would be great SBC content that could come out during Prem Tots. Moving on to a few more uh, SBC concepts. Some Tots moments. These are often SBCs that we see um, either in objectives or released as SBCs during the campaign. Damari Gray, Anthony Elanga, who we did have a silver uh, star of earlier this year, but he needs a meta card, not a silver, a meta item. I think Alanga could have his time during Prem Tots. And then I threw Mason Mountain here because a question mark by it, right? That's the big thing right now is there's no Chelsea special cards because of everything that's gone on politically with that. It's a bummer, right? Especially I feel for you Chelsea fans, you don't get to see your players that have performed so well in FIFA uh, get some um, get noticed and, and get a card in FIFA for how well they've played. Chelsea third in the table, right? They deserve some cards in team of the season. Could this potentially get all worked out? Maybe could EA drop an SBC if, um, you know, some of the club ownership stuff at Chelsea gets switched around during Prem Tots? Maybe. I wouldn't count on it, but uh, I had to show Chelsea some love because, again, I think it's a bit unfortunate that, you know, that's just how it is in the world and on FIFA at the moment. But a Tots Mason Mount would be great uh, as a moments SBC or, or whatever. So that's that. Now, the last two, I think these are like two of my favorite predictions right here. U23 SBCs. People always forget about this. Last year, a part of the team of the seasons that we had released, we had U23 cards. Livermento could be a great right back. Wouldn't be the most insane card ever. Could be a really nice prem right back. Probably a pretty cheap SBC for a U23 option. Bruno Guillermis, who I feel like has been leaked to have special cards multiple times this year in Future Stars. We never saw it. And then I feel like there was another time when he was supposed to get an item. Never did. That could be a nice Tots Moments center midfielder. And then Kuti Romero, who was in the team of the season voting, who I thought and hope um, might actually be in and get a legit team of the season card. Don't know if that's going to actually happen. But if he were to get a U23 SBC, that would be a card that's very good in the game. If you guys remember, like Kuti Romero's 84 rated inform earlier on this year was cracked. I believe this card would be unbelievable as well. So those are some U23 SBC concepts that we might see. Again, just predictions, no leaks here, just predictions. Uh, and then the last slide that we have here is I think a, a must do for EA Sports. This would be an absolutely incredible showdown SBC. North London Derby, which is gonna take place during Premier League team of the season with fourth place in the table on the line. Kulusevski and Thomas Partey would be great. Of course, they don't have to actually play to get upgraded. It's all about the team performance. A Kulusevsky Spurs card would be unbelievable. And I think Thomas Partey is a meta FIFA card, especially with those types of ratings. People would love this showdown as a concept to come out during Prem Tots. So those are my Premier League team of the season predictions. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Again, this is all just prediction. I'm taking into account the most popular players. Again, I think it's not just based upon how well the players performed. When I'm doing these predictions, I really think that it's based upon who is most popular and that's who's going to get into the vote for Team of the Season Premier League. So it's all up to EA Sports. Hopefully they release some sick cards with some really nice boosts on stats 
and some skill move and weak foot boost for some of these cards as well. I wanted to get this video out, of course, before the actual leaks begin because we're going to start having leaks here in the next couple of days for Premier League Tots. But let me again know down in the comments what you think about the price predictions that I had, who I had in the team, and all of those things. Lads, I'm so excited for Premier League team this season. If any of those cards look remotely like we have in the predictions, the saved up packs that I've been saving are going to end up being worth it if we can pack one or two of those big boys. So that's going to be the video for today. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate, the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.